In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create five different title animations inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This one is perfect for beginners and intermediate level video editors. So let's get into it. So first of all, before we actually begin creating these title animations, we first just need to create some text. So you wanna go to the type tool, and as you can see, the keyboard shortcut is T. Tap anywhere in your composition, and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we'll go to the effect controls, go into the text layer here, and you can change your font here. You can change the weight of the font here. You can change the size or the scale of the font here. You can center, you can left align, center align, or right align. I choose center normally. Then you can do some faux bold, faux italic, all caps, a few of the settings here. You've got your fill, and stroke color here, and you can add background and shadow here. And then of course you want to center this off. So now that we have created our text layer, let's begin with the first title animation, which is growing text. So growing text is really simple. It's just a way of adding a little bit of dynamic movement to your shot. So you want to go to effect controls. You want to go to motion, go to the very beginning and pull your scale down a touch. So we'll go to 90, create a brand new keyframe on scale, go to the very end of that title, and we'll increase that to a higher number, so 110 in this example. And as you can see, that text is now scaling up. It's very subtle, but just adding this scale animation or this zooming in animation, is just going to slightly enhance your video. My next title effect is going to be a fade on. So in order to do this, you want to go to opacity, go to the free draw bezier tool, then you want to draw a box around your text and you want to make sure there is enough room around the text. You don't want this to be too close and claustrophobic. Then you want to go ahead and move that completely over to the left, hiding your text. Create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Move a few seconds, half a second, one second over to the right. That's completely your call. And then move that box back on. As you can see, we've just created this really cool title animation. Of course, the bigger the gap between those keyframes, the longer it's going to take. So if you want to slow that down, then increase that gap. If you want to speed it up, then decrease that gap. Generally with this, I like to have a longer transition and I also like to get rid of those hard edges. So in order to do that, I just go to mask feather, increase the mask feather to soften that off and that is going to look great. My next title animation is going to be a color change. So if you want to change the color of your text halfway through the animation, then all you need to do is go into effects, search for tint, drag tint onto your text layer, and then we'll go into effect controls. Now you can see we've got map white to and map black to. If your text is black, then you're going to select the black option. If it's white, then you'll select the white option. But then you can go ahead and pick a color of your choice. So I'm going to go for a nice orangey yellow color. But at the moment, all that's done is change that color. So like we did with the previous text effects, we're going to go to the free draw bezier, draw a rectangle around your text. Then we'll go ahead and create a new keyframe on mask path. We'll move back and change the position of that mask down. Increase the feather to a higher number to soften that off. And that is going to be your color change text. So as you can see, it fades on, we're scaling again, and we've got a color change. So three really simple text effects that are now working with each other to create this dynamic title sequence. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new title. So go back to the T icon, type out that word again. Again, you wanna make sure that this is centered off. And now from here, we're gonna create a rise up transition. So the text is going to come up character by character. Now, I'm gonna need a template because we're gonna to need to separate all of these characters onto individual lines. So before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a copy of that text layer. So we've got Brooker on the bottom layer, and we're gonna change the color of that by going into, into effect controls, go into the text layer, and we'll change that to red. This is just for our template. Then we'll go on that text layer that we created, and we're just going to make that the first letter, which is B. Then we want to make as many copies as there are letters. So B R O O K E R. We have seven layers. So we need seven layers for this effect. So we've already got the B. If you hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, drag that up and that will make a copy. 
So we've got B R O O K E and R. So Brooker. Now from here, you want to go ahead and move that first B on top of the red B, like so. Then we'll go to the next character up. We'll move that above the R, but now we're going to change that to an R. Then we'll go to the next character up and we'll change that to the O and just keep going through this process, making sure that you change every character and align it with that red template that we have. There we go. So as you can see, we've got every individual character now on a separate layer so we can delete that template. And now from here, we want to go ahead and create a rise up animation. So if we go on to the B layer, We'll go to the very beginning of that layer and then we'll go 10 frames to the right. Create a brand new keyframe on position. Then we'll go back to the beginning and we'll pull the position down. Now from here, you want to go to the opacity, go to the free draw bezier tool and we'll just draw a rectangle following the line of this text. Create a brand new keyframe on that at the very beginning. Then we'll hover over that second keyframe and we'll bring that back down again. So now when we play that back, you can see that appears. So now we just want to copy the motion and the opacity. So you want to hold command, select motion and opacity, paste that onto the R. And as you see, the R has inherited those values, but it has moved the position over to the left. So we're just going to nudge that over with the anchor point. Then we'll do the same on the O, but again, we're just going to move that over with the anchor point and just keep working through pasting that onto every individual character and then using the anchor point to nudge that back into its original place. And there you go. Now, when we play this back, they all just animate up at the same time. So to create this really cool canon effect, you just want to go two frames to the right after the first one and just move R over. Two again, move the O. Two again, move the O. Two again, move the K. And just keep staggering these two frames at a time and then you'll end up with something like this. It's really simple, but really cool effect. Now, of course, you can slow this animation down by increasing the gaps between the layers and the keyframes, or you can compress everything to speed it up. But that is a really cool rise up text effect inside of Adobe Premiere. So that brings us on to text number five and the last text effect that I'm going to show you in this video, and that is box text. Super simple, super quick. So we're gonna to need to create more text again. Then from there, you just want to move that up onto video layer two. You want to go to the project tab and create a new black video. Drag the black video onto video layer one underneath that text. And now from here, we want to go into effects, search for tint, so T-I-N-T, drag tint onto the black video, go back into effect controls and we'll map the black to a color of your choice. So I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a purple, a dark purple in this example. Then from there, you wanna to go to the black video, go to motion, uncheck uniform scale, we'll pull the width down, we'll pull the height down. Then you just wanna move the text up because as you can see, it's slightly off center. And then from there, we're just going to nest both of those together. So highlight both of those layers, right click, nest, now we'll go 10 frames to the right, go to the opacity, select the free draw bezier tool, draw a mask around that box like this, create brand new keyframe on mask path, go to the beginning, move that mask to the left, and that has now animated on. It looks really cool and is really simple and was very quick to create. So we started with the grow on text effect, then we animated our text on with a fade on, then we did a really cool color change, then we moved on to a rise up text effect before finishing off with this box text. These five text animations are really going to help you to elevate your video project. They're all quick and fairly simple to do. The rise up text is the longest one in that process, but it does look really cool. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you found this video useful and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.